So we're going to look at How to Draw Caricatures, and this is by Len Redman. The book was published in 1984, but he was doing his characters uh, decades earlier than that. So many of the famous people that he draws in here are from quite long ago, and many of the styles that he uses are from quite long ago. But a lot of the basics on how characters are made are the same, so you're still learning all of the basic skills. It's just the examples he uses may seem a bit dated to us in modern times. So much of what he talks about in this book is that you want to get a sense, you know, through whatever kind of study of the range of people's features and how all the different kinds of eyes are and different kinds of noses and different kinds of mouths, because you want to be able to get a sense of a given person, what is about their face, which is out of the ordinary compared to most other people's faces, because that'll be the part you want to exaggerate. If a person's nose looks like most other people's noses, then there's no reason to exaggerate that. But if their chin sticks out more than most people's chins do, then that would be the thing that you would choose to be able to feature. So he talks about all sorts of different head shapes. You know, he even goes a little wacky with some of them, but that's the point is to be able to get a sense of what the different styles are so that you can then see what you want to exaggerate. So like for this woman, he made her eyes larger and he made her face much squarer than in the original. He made her head more triangular and had the hair poof out more. So it's all about looking at faces and figuring out, you know, clearly her hair didn't stick out that much. Figuring out what about a person stands out as different from most other people. You know, clearly all people have different faces from each other. But what stands out as being a little different from most other people, so you can exaggerate that. So he talks about different kinds of eyes, different kinds of ears, different kinds of noses, different kinds of mouths. And there are oodles of examples in here where he describes each one and he describes what he chose to feature and how he chose to change them. So it's really useful to look at example after example. And I'm really impressed, given the time period that he was working with, that he has people from all sorts of different backgrounds. He has all different skin shades, all different face types. So that's uh, very nice to see. He talks about the relationship of the different parts of the face and how they can work well together. About, you know, in this case, emphasizing the hair, or in this case, emphasizing the eyes and the mouth, making his nose a little pointy. So there is a lot of useful information in here he does talk about how when he would do people's caricatures that some people would be really upset by the result because they wanted a pretty result and his theory on doing caricatures is that they're not going to be pretty, they're going to be funny. And what he thinks of as funny, you know, if someone was really sensitive about their gap tooth and then he makes a huge gap tooth on their face, then that's probably going to make them sad if they are not up for that kind of uh, humor. So he says to be aware of that and be aware that some people are going to be upset depending on what you choose to emphasize. And that's uh, certainly true for any sort of art that one would choose to do. If you're doing famous people or politicians or stuff, then the caricature is just part of the process and people are used to doing it. See, here we go. They used to get mad. Watch out. Some still do. So he talks all about that kind of issue. But he also says when you're doing, again, famous people or politicians or such, that you expect to have caricatures in many situations, and that's just part of the way that the process goes. There's a couple pages in here which involve naked people, so depending on how comfortable you are with naked people, just know that those pages are in there. And then he does a number of full body descriptions, so you get a sense of how to do a caricature when you're trying to work with the full body. But most of this has to do with faces and um, different profiles. Most straightforward faces, but he does do a number of profiles in there to give that sense as well. And then he has a small section on the back on smaller kids and how to represent them with their different proportions. And then he talks a bit about, you know, the cute kinds of characters where you have them doing different kinds of activities. So there's a lot of good information in here from someone who has clearly done it for quite a while and can offer practical suggestions. I like the wide range of facial types that he features in here from different ages and different backgrounds and so on. And I like the 
range of styles he offers too, because it's not just all one style. He has different kinds of presentations that he does. So if you're interested in caricatures, this is definitely a good book to take a look at and get some ideas. Let me know if you have any questions.